Hi, it's Sarah with House Copper. Today is a day that we are just doing something kind of mundane, but it's cleaning. And it's important because so many people have cookware, whether it's copper lined with tin or copper lined with stainless or just vintage cookware or cookware that has iron handles, no matter what the actual body is made out of. Um, your handles can, with time or misuse or accidental exposure to too much moisture, start to rust and get yucky. So this will work for, uh, for sure for cast iron handles. Um, it probably and ought to work for wrought iron handles, though sometimes wrought iron, because it is um, a different makeup from cast iron, it might not um, take to some of these processes as well as cast iron, but it should work. So, I mean, I would do it this way on wrought iron as well. Um, it won't work for steel. It won't work for uh, that kind of stuff as, as much um, just because steel doesn't have the same kind of uh, deep rust that you will get with cast iron. So um, I'm going to use a crappy pot that um, is one of my house copper pots that has really bad rust on the handles. So it's in really rough shape um, in terms of um, rusty handles. So that's that should be nice black iron. Now if you get these handles all cleaned up and then um, you keep at them with oil or even just your hands and food grease and things like that, you know, keep the rest of the pot clean, but let let heat and oil essentially constantly soak into these handles once you get them nice and in shape and then you really shouldn't have to do upkeep like ever, um, hardly ever, once once you get them and, and the, you know, the iron oxide from sitting on top. But you do want to do it because with time, the, the rust, the iron oxide will uh, eventually corrode completely the iron. It'll make it super brittle and then it will just crumble and break, um, you know, over time. So you don't want to let rust sit on handles if you can help it. It's not going to be that hard. It's just going to take elbow grease and a couple different steps, but here we go. Your best friend is going to be some sort of wire bristled brush, something with like a steel wire. So this is like steel wool on steroids. And that's gonna be your first line of getting that superficial rust off. Um, I like to get it a little wet just to give it something to start reacting with. And you're going to start really grinding that superficial rust off. Um, and just to let you know, this has been sitting um, on here, the rust has been sitting on these handles for about seven years, because that's how long I've let this sit. Um, but you can see that already there, I'm starting to see that iron underneath. Okay, so. You can see we're down to the dark iron compared to all the rust. So that's good, but now you just put water in a very porous type of metal. So the next thing to do is to dry it, but even drying it with a towel is not gonna be enough. So I don't have an oven here, but if you have an oven, you would put this in the oven at like a lower temp to just kind of heat it up and kind of start drying it out. If it's tin lined copper, obviously you're not gonna put it in there empty. Um, so fill the pan with water. If you put it in the oven and then put it in at like 250 degrees to slowly kind of heat the water out of, you know, water boils at like 210 or something. So you're trying to boil the water out of the pores of your iron and also, you know, keep your copper pot full of water. But that said, I don't have an oven, so I'm just gonna use a fire. So that's what you're gonna see me use next to dry this handle off before we do the next step. The next step is to rub like an oil on the handles. What you're really doing is seasoning your handles just like you would a cast iron skillet but you're not like seasoning it for nonstick, you're just sealing it so they don't rust. So it's just kind of sealing in that um, dryness as opposed to sealing in moisture, which will cause rust. So you're sealing in the dryness you just created um, of you know after getting the surface rust off. And then with, again, time, use heat, hand oils, cooking oils, you'll kind of be constantly re-seasoning your handles um, once you get them to this stage. So, Next, 
we are going to, I use, when I season my skillets, I use organic flaxseed oil. Now the handle's still quite warm and that's good. I want that. So I'm gonna start with some flaxseed oil. I'm gonna get it everywhere I can on the handle. And then um, you don't want a really thick layer right now. There's a really thick layer on here. You're going to use another wire brush. <coughs> it can be made out of anything. This one just happens to be one of those brass ones. And you kind of scrub, scrub the oil in everywhere. Um, these little brushes are particularly helpful for ear handles like this. If you have a long handle, a bigger brush is fine. But you're kind of rubbing um, the oil everywhere you can. as best you can in all the nooks and crannies. And then rub off the excess oil. Cause you really don't want that oil sitting too thick or it'll get really like gummy. Um, and you don't want gummy uh, build up either. That's not helpful for your handles. And there is a beautiful cast iron handle, all cleaned up, all gorgeous compared to rust. So you see the difference? Isn't that awesome? Okay, so there it is. How to clean a handle. Like I said, not a lot of craziness, mostly just elbow grease and time and getting dirty um, and scrubbing off and recleaning and prepping your handles. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Or if you have any ideas or things that you have done, like adding wax or other crazy or unique or special or awesome tips for how you keep your um, copper or other cookware handles clean and free of rust, please share because this is where we share this kind of cool stuff. Anyway, don't forget to uh, sign up to um, get my newsletter for any workshops or live Q and A's or anything like that. I have all the links down below as well as stopping in to see uh, copper ironing or buy, find copper iron and clay at your library or where books are sold and find me on Instagram at house copper and Facebook at house copper and TikTok at house copper um, and all those kinds of places. And I uh, will look forward to seeing you here next time. Thank you so much.